Good morning, happy Monday, happy new year, and welcome back. So, we got a lot of work ahead of us. So the very first thing I've done for the year is prepare my 2017 calendar. But in the course of 2016, I've learned some very, very important lessons. And these are the two things that I do on my calendar now. And the first thing I've done this year, I went back to work, that make a huge difference to how my work goes, at least my work efficiency. I've gone through every month and crossed out the extra week wherever it exists. Basically, every calendar just gives you the full amount of days in the space of these five layers. But I didn't realize earlier last year that uh, sometimes, well, more often than not, there's an extra week in there. And I used to just sort of schedule and fill every day in the calendar and then sometimes get a nasty surprise of having one less week than I expected. <laughs> so I've gone through and crossed out all of the extra weeks. And the second thing uh, that I've done is I've blocked out all of the Fridays. And uh, this is the other lesson that I've learned is that stuff comes out of nowhere and I have the habit of filling my schedule. So uh, in blocking out and keeping all of the Fridays blank, I schedule on four days a week and then I always have one day spare, which always gets filled with either work that doesn't end up being finished on these first four days or stuff that comes out of nowhere. Are you using that calendar? Do you want, do you want daddy's old calendar? Yeah, okay. Where are you going to put that one? That's a good That's idea. That's a pretty full day. You yeah. You want to do it on that day? You, maybe you have daddy's scheduling habits. <laughs> <laughs> Up there. Okay, oh. that's a little bit empty. In the, in the overnight. Wow, very clever. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just like that, I have a very full calendar with the first week and a half dedicated to a whole bunch of projects I've had uh, lined up for a long time and then a lot of video production after that because we're actually taking the first two weeks off in February uh, to go on a bit of a holiday. So I need to prepare content to sort of have going while I'm away. Uh, but I wanted to make it good content, of course, so it's, it's pretty full on scheduling just to try and fit in decent production values and editing time and all that stuff. But the main goal for today is to create the challenge of the month video to announce the theme for January and to launch the sale. It's my lunch break and I promised myself going into the new year I'll start going to the gym again. <laughs> I, I sort of stopped going regularly and I think I've gained like four or five kilos so I've got to get that back off. I did it. I think um, I have a bit of a uh, hot or cold sort of relationship with food. It's either one extreme or the other. Food and exercise, I should say. So I'm either like dieting and exercising, or eating way too much food and not moving like at all. So the last few months have been the latter and uh, I don't want to go back to the former because I feel like that's just temporary. I want to like you know, find a, a happy middle, <laughs> you know, not have a love-hate relationship with food and exercise, but just have a healthy relationship with both of them being a part of my life. So that's something I want to change moving forward. Good old New Year's resolutions. So I've just launched my 15% off everything sale, but the problem is a lot of people get this when they go to the website. The website seems to be crashing due to server errors and stuff, which is fun. I'm sorry for the inconvenience that anyone's been facing and, and the website is something that is a huge part of sustaining our business and something that, you know, is hard to, to manage sometimes and figure out. So I appreciate your patience in this. And if you tried to go to make use of the sale uh, and you got the website down, please just try it again in a day or two. I'm working really hard to figure it out and fix it um, and it will be up you know, within the next day or two or sooner. Um, and you should be able to get your products at 15% off. And fortunately, the sale goes for, for two weeks. So there's a bit of time there for you, but yeah. How are you going? Uh, so what's happened is... Um, we think we're on the DDoS attack. We, re we released the video because um, Jazza wanted to do a sale in January in the shop to support Jazza Studios and, and the Jazza family and some bastard 
has attacked immediately attacked our website and the whole thing's gone down so it's a resource attack so the info on the website secure but the website's being pummeled with resource fake. sucking uses yeah fake uses so we we so basically then what happens is the website crashes and he's on to tech support at the moment on us with our serving people is that what they're called the website you guys probably know more about this than me i probably sound like an idiot to most of the people on this blog right now but basically what happens is our sale video is effed up that's as close as mrs jesser has come to swearing on the blog the whole thing's effed up and I hope that Jazz ahead of getting some support for the shop now the shop has actually gone down and we're not getting our regular income from the shop today not uh... the, the links are going to gum road and and um, people are being supportive there which is nice but it's just it's really stressful because I mean, on the small scale things, Gumroad take a higher cut and it's not our website. So, you know, have people want the same products and the same account, notifications and all that stuff. So basically, someone from outside has managed to crash our website. So people can't buy any of the stuff in the sale from us. They're buying from Gumroad instead at the moment. Thank At you. least support is finally being helpful because they haven't in the past, but the two people I've gone on to today are actually decent. They're very good. So the, th the reason that we think that it's someone purposely doing it instead of just people coming on to support us is, as Jessa said, he's redirected the links now to Gumroad and... <laughs> oh, thank you. Want to come with that ruler? And it's still down. Website's still down. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> so I think you might be able to get ahead or break even. So, yeah, I know. Someone That's thinks it's I funny. Feel. He thinks it's funny. I feel just the same. Minus so the Jazz mark. is pretty upset because today he was meant to do other stuff. <laughs> so we had some time off, came back today. Jazz was looking forward to hitting today hard and getting on with the things you need to do. We were both looking forward to releasing this sale video that he prepared he knew was going up and we were hoping to make you feel like oh, get some funding from sale, it you know, like. yeah but now we're actually losing money from it and so yeah no he's stressing out trying to fix it okay we have progress i have signed up to cloudflare which is uh a CDN, a content delivery network. It's going to cost us an extra monthly subscription <laughs> cost, but it will deflect DDoS attacks and uh, help my website be faster. So, yeah. So, long story short, basically, uh, I would have expected maybe two to three thousand hits in the hour of launching the video to be legitimate, but there were over 160,000 hits. So basically what a DDoS attack does is someone somewhere or some th automated thing, but I, it, you know, it's not, it's too much of a coincidence as far as the timing of me releasing this, this shop sale thing to be, a, you know, a, an accident. But anyways, yeah, so, someone or something has es essentially sent a whole bunch of fake people to the website and it just uses up all the server's resources and then it just can't be a website anymore. It's giving out too much and then it just can't give out anymore. And that's what I was, what we were combating as soon as we launched the shop and the sale, I mean, not the shop. Um, so now we have an extra layer of security in place and we have lots of security on the website as far as protecting the information and the website itself goes. We just get baffled that people do this, you know, like, I don't know that you get this picture in your head of some some dickhead geek on the other side of a computer somewhere in the world in a dimly lit room eating Cheetos and getting shits and giggles out of, you know, annoying someone. But when it legitimately affects your livelihood and your family, it's really upsetting on the other side of it. And I, do you know what? Maybe this is what they want. Like, maybe it's the attention. Because if someone specifically targeted me when I released a video... I'm going to react, yes, and I'm going to document it because I do daily vlogs, so there you go, congratulations, but, you know, pretty shit. <laughs>
Anyways, that's dealt with and now we move forward. <laughs> the, the website's running, it's stable and smooth and everything's all good now. So you should be able to go there. I know this was a bit of a roller coaster for you watching this vlog because this has happened by the time you see this and everything's running fine. But, you know, <laughs> it's a journey. It's all a journey. Anyways, that'll do for today. Uh, now remember that w now that we're back to work, questions of the day are back. So feel free to leave your question of the day in the comment section below and I will get to those in work days moving forward. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.